Kaching. Yeah, man. What's going on, guys? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, look at my boys all grown up. Oh, it's so good to see you, man. It's so good to see you. Thank you for agreeing to do this. I know everybody's got shit to do. So firstly, but while we're waiting for Belle, just quickly, what, what's, what's going on? What have you been up to? How's COVID life? Um, yeah, for me, it's been it's been all right. I mean, at first it was a little bit boring, a bit monotonous. Um, hello, Devon, by the way. You like, bro? Yeah, yeah, welcome. Well, well. <laughs> um, what's it? So it's been all right. So, um... <laughs> Kind of like revamping like with acting you kind of can't go to auditions at the moment so this is like a, it's kind of like coming at it in a new way mm-hmm. um so um like i've been doing like a lot of viral content making or trying yeah. my hand at it i just do tiktok so i'm like tj world everything twj world everything right. and twitter instagram and now tiktok so i've been playing with tiktok a lot um why are you saying it like you're embarrassed content. about it are you embarrassed about tiktok dude no, it's not. It's for the kids, and it's really funny, isn't it? Because I'm it's just not like for going the kids. It's for everyone. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. What kind of grown ass man's on TikTok? What oh, kind of Listen, I love TikTok. Okay. To be honest, I think TJ is perfect for TikTok. All jokes aside. Yes, me too. I I go and I just got in a TikTok hole the other day, and I made like five videos, and then um. So I've just been doing stuff like that. And also I've been bike riding. I've just fixed up two bikes. I've got two, I've got three bikes in my bed now. Um, oh, so I need one. Well, my, my, my tires are fucked. I need a, bike, a new bike. What about you, Dave? What have you been doing? <laughs> Boy, uh, so I came, I came into lockdown uh, in a season four Taj. And I'm coming out of it as season one times, boy, because <laughs> <laughs> I've just been eating. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. There's like, I think I started, at first it was okay. I was a bit like, okay, I'm going to be focused and get shit done. And I was on mm. it. I was, I was working out, I was running, doing 5Ks mm. for banter. I was in the garden. I was in the garden, just getting, dead, just getting hench, doing all that. That, that face there, I did bare of that. I sweat pouring off me. And then, um, like two weeks later, I was just in a hole, just eating cake and crying. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's where I've been. Most no, of the it's time. just, it's just, it's. I, I understand people going online and being like, "Oh yeah, now's the time to be productive." Rare, rare, rare. Yeah. But there's only so far you can like all these casting one on ones and stuff. Like, I get it, but at the same time, I don't get it. <laughs> It's, yeah because because to be honest with you there has to be like there has to be some engagement it has to be a new engagement with the, with an audience yeah and no, audiences don't want to see monologues no offense oh no nobody yeah. wants to see i don't think any anyone other than an actor is going to sit down and watch people's monologues like i don't think anyone cares i think right. it's called hmm? right it's not Obviously, cold it's it's green. like you've not been going on tiktok doing monologues right so you're doing comedy stuff yeah, that's yeah, really like bad. stuff that people can relate to and engage with. Mm, yeah, I mean, I wanted to do like uh, I do have an idea to do like a um, kind of um, like a over like an over the phone um, like comedy um, like two hander with like various actors. So that's something I came up with. So I've taken up writing recently. So I've submitted um, two scripts um, to like a, a British network. Um, so, um, so I was taking up writing in my time. So I did a short, then I've done like a series, um, actually a children's series, which I wrote, um, funnily enough. Um, so I've submitted that and I've been working on that. And then um, I thought, oh, like maybe I could write something that just works within the lockdown. So, um, because I was making a short film, which I meant to direct, but then everything got shut down. So I can't shoot that anymore. Yeah. Because, um, so I thought, what could I do instead? And um, so I came up with that idea. But then after I got on TikTok and I thought, I can just do this by myself. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. 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 That's, that, that's what I've been doing. Like, I have, I have been one of those psychopaths that's been like, right, I need to be really productive. And I, and I got mm. into streaming um, a show every week. Um, and, you know, for the first few weeks, it's like, oh, it's fine. And now I'm like, oh, I've got another show this week. What we're going to do is it's a bit much. Yeah. But it's kept my sanity. 
All right, so let's. I'm going to start while we wait for Bell because I know you, you haven't got that much time to end. All right, oh, so no. okay, let's get right into it. Uh, I'm going to take you down memory lane a little bit. Catching. Rude Boy rakes it in. Same thing. Rude Boy's back and going global. Kerchit. <laughs> Guys. Well, well Devon used to look like a buff thing. What happened, bro? <laughs> like a what? Like a buff thing. Oh, yeah, so you could look like a buff thing. Like, you used to look nice, man. What well, I'm doing? What well, I'm doing, dog? Environmental impact assessment. <laughs> then we do the kaching. So the setup for the yeah. show is that you are a secret. Well, you're not a millionaire yet, right? Well, you might be now, but I mean, back then, you were trying to make a million for mum, yeah. um, and you like um, kind of got your friends together, and you had all these. You you were a big time business guy, right? Yeah, I mean, I I, I watched the first episode the other day, and um, he was on in the first episode. He was on thirty eight grand. He was worth so thirty eight. That's more than I make grand. now, blood. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how he, he pulled that off, but he was worth thirty eight. Uh, K, and he was just working off of his little ringtones. So yeah, yeah, yeah. For a kid of that age, thirty-eight K is not too shabby. A lot of pay. Not too shabby. Um. Well, I'm going to show you the rest of the, the this little section. You soon forget all about Alex. Oh, please! I am so over her. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Even though you're a big time uh -huh. business guy, you got you're making thirty-eight bags a year. Yeah. Um, all you really <laughs> cared about was Alex. And yeah. more tumultuous often on relationship, yeah. Yeah. So I guess my question is, when, when, how old were you when you started, and 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 how did you get into it? I know you started; you were a child actor, Dev. Um, yeah. But Ten, how did how did you all get into it? Uh, Ten, do you want to go first or what? No, you go for you go ahead, bro. Uh, basically, when I was a, a baby, I, I did modelling, so um. Uh, I just did some modelling stuff and then somehow, I don't really know how, it must have been my mum, I got into acting and like one of my very first, uh, it was possibly be, uh, like my first job was EastEnders, which I got when I was six. Uh, and Billy! I did that. <laughs> so basically I did that until I was 10 um, and then yeah, just called a bug, I think. Uh, and just... And then did Glass Girls movie. Oh, oh shit, yeah, yeah. there's a special movie as well. I forgot, After, damn it, I forgot about that. How old was you? Was you? How old was you then, like seven, eight? I was ten. I was ten? ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you can't see it, you're a Spice Girls fan, Teach. No, but obviously your parents... I said no, I said no. I don't like the Spice Girls. I know that. I couldn't even watch it. I tried it, I tried it. I was like, oh, that's I'm good. I'm from Bo-B, bruv. If it's not white, yeah, I don't want to know. I ain't watching it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, the Spice Girls? I don't know no Spice Girls. Yeah, get out of it. Bo Bo How did you get into it, Siege? Um, I got into it. I was, I was, I was at school, um, and uh, I used to do, like, drama club and all that stuff. And then afterwards, um, there was, like, a workshop happening on the weekend, and uh, I decided to go to the workshop and just stay at home and play FIFA with my friends. And then the workshop turned out to be an audition, which I got sent to the BBC to do this audition. And I was like, okay, this is fun. And then um, they said they'll phone me like two weeks later. And then um, it was like three weeks later. And they phoned me and said like, oh, you're going to be on TVC. I was like, oh, that's sick. Because I was trying to win prizes like four weeks ago. And now I'm going <laughs> to win. So then I just ended up doing it. But I was like, I did all like the drama projects. I was gifted and talented in drama at school. Um, so like they really pushed anything that you did. Like our, our then head teacher was the head of, was the ex head of Ofsted, um, so oh, yeah. he rolled out. You can tell if it kind of started off in our school. Now it runs across the UK, so um, it was quite a like a that was a normal state school, but it was like you know they pushed you in whatever you what you did. So I was fortunate, and that's how I ended up doing that, and then still a bunch of stuff after that. Really, that's yeah. a little bit like my story. Cool? My story is a bit similar to yours, Teach, because I was filming at the National Youth Theatre. We were doing some film, and they randomly. I think it's when Tish had just decided to leave to go to do pursue music. They needed somebody and they randomly asked, probably through Jude when I think about it, they randomly asked the National Youth Theatre if they had anybody. 
and I was filming there. So they, so they brought me in for an audition and then two twos, I, I got it. So as, as soon, the day I finished filming at the National Youth Theatre, I came to the read through for season three. Oh, wow. Mad, so, mad. All right, let me, um, Belle's on the way. Huh? What was you filming at National Youth Theatre? So we did two films, but the first film, season three, was, um, it was about gun crime, um, gang violence, about predatory mm -hmm. behaviour. It was all to raise money for, remember Millie Dowler? Yeah. Yeah. It was all to, well, not to raise money, but to raise awareness about like predatory behaviour and stuff like that. Understood. All right, so, oh, Bell's here! Ah! Sorry. Hello, girl. She's, I'm, just, I'm just letting her in, she's in the waiting room. Oh, right. oh my god, and I've just realised this is Doctor Who, and she was in Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I'm girl. Luke. Sound, sound, sound. Hi, can Hi. you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my computer took so long to load up, I'm so sorry. And, no, I, just finished, and I just finished the circuit. Oh, I mean, that... It's like a lang, man. Like, Look how, she's putting, <laughs> Dev, look how she's putting us to shame. Yeah, we've just been talking about how we've not yeah. been doing out for a few weeks. Really? Um, we're jumping straight into it because CJ's got to go, right? So tell us, Belle, how did you get into Kaching? Come on. How did I get into Kaching? Um, okay, I was doing my A-level exams. Um, my agent at the time said just to um, do this audition. It'd be a really good experience for you. You're probably not going to get the part because you're up against loads of actresses that have been doing this since day one. I was a newcomer. So I was like, yeah, right then, I'll go along, see what happens, nah, 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 whatever. Went along to the audition, um, got a call back, which was really cool. Um, kind of thought that, that was a bit of a fluke, but then I got another call back again. Funny thing is, um, my agent didn't get the message for the call back, so the BBC actually rang the house and said, we really want to see you for tomorrow. And that's when my mum was like, I think you've got this. And I was like, no, nah, no. Nah. Mm -hmm. But I um, did that last audition. And basically, in a nutshell, when I was walking up my last day level exam, I got the phone call saying I got the job. So it was just Yay! wicked. Ah. I'll never forget that day. <laughs> I think it was a little bit of a whirlwind for a few of us, actually. Right, I'm moving on, Belle. I'm moving yeah, on, okay? So fine. keep up, keep up. All right. So I've just learned how to share audio and screen. So you'll be pleased to, to, to see this next bit. All right, mm -hmm. share screen. Okay, here we go. Right, so the, guys, I've picked this because this <laughs> You don't understand what I've been through to get these clips for you guys. I had to look through VHS for some of this shit. Oh, okay. that's painful. This next bit, please trust and believe. This is going to make you laugh. Touch. Paintballing was the biz, man. You should have been there. Well, not being rude, but boy, was I busy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh, idiot. What people must have got mixed up and thought I was still collecting coupons. I feel awful now. Don't worry, Alex, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. People don't always mean what they say, Alex. <laughs> so I guess this is it, then. I didn't want a big send-off anyway. Look after yourself, bro. I'll email you, all right? Hey, I hope you weren't trying to duck out without saying goodbye. <sighs> Here, it's a little something from us. It's an early piece from a local craftsman. No, it's not. We did it. <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, look, what Ricardo, I know we ain't always been cool, but I think it's great you're going to be able to spend some more time with your mum. Because I wish I could be with my dad. So good luck, you, mate. Yeah. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Oh, I think you better go before these two flood the place. I've got something in my eye! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> well, <laughs> bye then. Bye, Ricardo. Bye! bye. bye. <laughs> nice work, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> Crew bug! I know you dare tell anyone about this, Louise. Mate. Oh. I chose that clip because um, that's when uh, uh, Danny was leaving, Ricardo um, was leaving, um, and me and Joe Fox, Joe Fox, who played Michael, yeah. Uh, yeah. joined. So, 
No shade, no shade, no shade. I know your real names. I know your real names. No tea, no shade. I actually, I actually um, messaged um, Danny no. and Joe today, um, but but um, they weren't available for comment. Um, so my question is, how did you feel like when when Tish and and um, Danny were leaving, like, and two new people came? That must have been weird for you all. Go, go. For me, it was weird because um, it took a it took a long time to to find the replacement. So yeah. like, we we were really lucky to get you, and um, yeah, as we know, we got on really well straight away. But I remember there was a, a problem for a while just trying to find the right actress to replace Tisha that still had that same chemistry with Carisha. So you just did an amazing job just to come in when you did and blend in the way you did. Cause it was, what was it? Series three when you started? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that was quite far into it. And it already had, Kaching had a massive following by then. So kudos to you girl for coming in and just slotting in the way you did. What about you guys? And I felt glad once I, I met you as well, um, that I liked you. So that helped. <laughs> you wanted to hate me, didn't you? <laughs> what about you guys with Joe? That must have been weird because Danny was such a character. Like he made oh, he was one of the I mean you all did, but especially him, he was so one of the funny. people that made me feel so welcome straight away. Yeah. Oh, Danny was such a like I thought I got on with Danny that like, um and that like, yeah. I even forgot there was an overlap, like um yeah. with yeah, Danny because Joe. Like, I didn't know there was, I didn't even know they featured in the same episode, so that was kind of crazy for me. So I, was like, what? Um, I don't even remember him getting a set off. I was like, that's quite surprising. <laughs> <laughs> we, were all, we were all really sad that day. Yeah, so, I remember it. Like, watching it, I was like, I remember it. Like, yeah, um, it came back to me as well, watching it just now. Yeah, I was watching like, oh, it, it was. Watching it. I think um, for me, like, the overlap, Kaching was like, they would just replace like for like straight away. It was jokes because originally, we had Hannah Toynton as the love interest as Tamsin, and yeah. they just went, oh, she's gone. Okay, here's another white girl. <laughs> <laughs> and, just, and that would be uh, Elspeth that he's talking about. Yeah, Elspeth. And it was pretty much, they just went, okay, here's another one, and we'll put some colour in her hair. And then Danny, they just went, we still need a rival. <laughs> and then, like, I lost the sister, but I just gained another brown girl. It was brilliant. I loved it. They chucked them up. But, um, <laughs> No, and she I moved into your lady. house as well. Like, how? Why would she? Yeah, I literally I was watching an episode today, and someone asked me like, "Oh, who's the new? Who was the new girl?" And I was like, "Oh, well, it was Colton's niece." And then, why? Why did she come? I said, "I don't know," and I don't know why she's living in her house. <laughs> 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 she's moved in. All right. But so... the change around was was was, I think at that age. Um, we all just, yeah, everyone just swapped. They chopped him in and out, didn't they, Bill? Oh, yeah. I was I could see Bill. Yeah, you just, you kind of make it work. It was fun. I think, um, like, goes Danny, I thought he was like, I kind of like, you know, you get a bit like friends, isn't it? We've done a few It was kind of, um, yeah, it was a little bit sad to see him go. I mean, um, I just, especially because, like, we had a lot of scenes together, like, so more so than, than with Tish. So I can imagine for Belle, when we teach like, often, most scenes. Yeah. And, like, um, Devon, I, and uh, what's his name? Jamie, that we did. Mm -hmm. we did <laughs> 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 I knew you were going to laugh for that. <laughs> I just want you to know that I know everyone's name. Just we know everyone's name. I, I'm going to cut all this out, but just to, just to disclaim, we know everyone's name, but it's been nearly 20 years, guys. Fucking oh, don't. Is it that long? 18-ish. Oh, man. That's mad. So, yeah, so the people you worked with the most, you, you know, you felt more affinity to and you, you, you know, you were sad when they went. I That's get it. that. Yeah, um, speaking great. of Mr. Sweeney, he's not here, but I'm going to kind of be, like rush through his bits just so you can see what, oh, I, what, what I prepared oh, for him. What I prepared. Okay. <laughs> I don't want any trouble, fellas. Give us what we want. And there won't be it. I'm afraid I can't do that. This says you can. That's your bus pass. I know. He knows.
Omar, you have to come out sometime. And when you do, the Knickerbockers will be waiting. <laughs> Carisha, sha, sha. That's really annoying, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Carisha, <laughs> sha, sha. So, Danny, what's new with you? Taj won't let me be head of finances. I mean, can you believe that? Run by me how many quarters there are in one hole again. So you're just like Taj. No, I may not be any good at maths, but I know a lot about business, and no one will give me a chance to prove it. No, you're all the same. You just underestimate me. Uh, sorry, Danny, I didn't mean it. My beetroot soup. It's delicious, really. Just try it. <laughs> Danny. He's getting ready. You know, you really should look after him, Taj. One day, Danny's going to get headhunted for real. Why is my heart beating like a drum and bass remix? <laughs> Hello, babe. How are you feeling? How about my life is a meaningless black void with no hope for the future? <laughs> and I ain't your babe. Well, these are cheer you up. Two tickets to Paris. For me? Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, you don't know how much this means to me. Well, anything for you, babe. Oh, come here. Jazz! Jazz! <laughs> me and you are going to <laughs> No, I didn't mean it. How did that just happen? <laughs> we should can't find <laughs> out I've met someone else, the girl of my dreams. Well, I in your dreams, Danny. I'm busy. See, she's going to be well guided, mate. I've got to let her down easy. You know I've always had a bit of a soft spot for you. Oh, that's what you call standing under my window all night, is it? <laughs> I've got some bad news. Oh, you bought a ladder? No. <laughs> I found someone else. Me and you, babe, it's just... It's not going to happen. I'm over you. So uh, basically, my my my, my just, like train of thought there is like his character and his f famous catchphrase Curry, sha, 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 sha. <laughs> um, and and the love interest stuff. Speaking yeah. of love interests, this is Seymour's love interest, potentially. Mrs. L, the boiler's gone again. <laughs> Well, Seymour can help you warm up. <laughs> Whoa, I did get my first aid badge at Cubs. In case of hypothermia, you should raise the budget temperature gradually. Seymour! <laughs> Football. <laughs> Stop drooling, Seymour. You're leaving a wet patch. <laughs> Seymour's real love interest was... Ah. Uh. Here. Taste this. No thanks. <laughs> and Seymour, what about the Russian dancers? I can't do everything. Do you know how long it takes a great a beat <laughs> So, Seymour's famous tropical mango and ginger surprise, huh? Oh, too mangoey. <gasps> Surprising. Well, you can't argue with a boy who eats as much as Leon does. Uh, it needs to be 
each chewy a lot. That's what Neil says. I'm an artist, a blender of subtle tastes and flavours, not a cement mixer. That's it. The whole thing is off. Here's the latest prediction for potential sales and profits. And that's your share, the dosh at the bottom. Chewy array. So that was Seymour's <laughs> real love interest. So, T, uh, just like a question mm. about your character. Going back through the clips, I, I realised a lot going back through the clips, actually, which I'll probably round up on at the end. But one of the things that stuck out was Seymour's character was particularly a diverse character in, in the terms of he, he, he wasn't stereotypical in any way. He was an mm. artist. He, he didn't like football, but he loved cooking. Like, how did you feel playing Seymour? I loved it. I love food anyway. I was a fat kid, like. <laughs> when I tried that, I love food, like. My nickname was Moist in secondary school, so it was like, um, like who do I like? I like food over football anyway. So it was that's a no brainer. Um, um, but no, it was good. It was really fun to play, like working with Dev. Like we just had like magic, like so, like we would like you know oh, we had no the way. banter anyway. Like, it was pretty easy, like really, um, and a lot of those scenes, things I don't remember, but like I just had, I just had fun. Like, I mean, for me, yeah, it was like, oh, uh, you know, um, I'd look forward to the summers, just going there to have fun, and just whatever. And I'm thinking, finding the line. So like, most of it was in the script, and then like, like bouncing off my mate Endeavor and whatever. It was just like, it was just, yeah, you know, it kind of came out. It kind of came out, and obviously the. the, the um, credit to the person that wrote the character. Obviously, it made it really different. I think it's quite groundbreaking that like, often um, mm. young black um, characters aren't portrayed that way even right. until now. Exactly. Um, and I think Katrina was far from widowhood, and um, so it was quite nice to have something like that. Um, yeah. I mean, I think I don't think there's much like. I mean, there is the four o'clock club. I think they've got up now, mm. which um, it's it's good, but it's no Kaching. Right, <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's the point. I'm going to come back to at the end, but that's that's really important that you mentioned that. I'm sorry, Dev, but um, what I realised also looking through all the clips is that we only learn about your character through the rest of your friends. So you will live vicariously through the rest of us um, this evening. Um, but yeah, you're right. Kaching was groundbreaking, and um, I didn't quite realise how much at the time, but I but I do I do now. Um, Jaden. And I, and I, and it, yeah. Although, yeah, like I had to do some crazy things that I think I don't know, like it's, like for my character, because I would have to do like some odd things, like um, like always cooking and stuff like that. Or like I remember they had me cracking eggs. I had to do it with one hand, and I'm like, who cracks egg with one hand? So <laughs> I mean, one Alan. time, which I've never forget, yeah. <laughs> we're filming this scene, and there's a snake in this scene, yeah. And <laughs> Devon purposely. It's funny you should mention that. I'm staying alone. Because the snake was coming up. I never did that. Yeah, the snake was coming up. It's funny you should mention the snake. I'm like... <laughs> Gone. Gone. We'll get to, I'll we'll never get, forget we'll I get to that. that. We'll get to that bit in a bit. Um, but what I do remember about the summers, well, firstly about the food, was the food was great until we had to eat the fucking thing 30 <laughs> times. Right? Prawn and whatever else delight, and I had to eat oh. all shit. Okay, and those heat, the lights from the fucking found. chill, and Wait, the flying ants. <gasps> the colourful drinks. If you look at the table and you see them drinks, and they're so colourful, and them, oh, oh. all the food was nasty. The they pop, no, the pop was yeah. nice. It was the milkshakes that were disgusting. Oh, the milkshakes. <laughs> Alright, guys, you're gonna have to bear with me for one minute. Yeah, I was gonna have to go off here. Yeah? Yeah, good. All right, I'm going to... Um, Jaden's not here, sadly, um, but oh. i got a little section for him. I'm going to show you just a little bit, just to show you what a baby he was at the time. Like, oh. he was such a baby. Tell Taj what? I know he's... Rude boy. No, that his brother has 20 seconds to live. I just want to know the truth. The truth? You can't handle the truth. Oh, I forgot my mask, so I'll catch you up. <laughs> I was looking for Taj, but I just hang with you. So what are you doing, uh, man? <laughs> Omar, man, you need to find your own friends. How? Big Ralph. Sweet. So what's this really cool thing you got to tell us? Well, well, well. What is it? I'm busy. Well, the thing is, I know who. 
the president of America is. <laughs> what? George Bush? Just in case it ever comes up. <laughs> now you know. Is that it? You're a double moco. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing There's is something that crosses our blood. Yeah, the word they used to make up double moco, you know. Um, but now we're moving into into the relationship with um, with Taj and Alex. Um, sadly, Elspeth couldn't be here because she's just had a little bambino. She's had a little baby. Um, she's just had a little baby, um, so she couldn't be here today. But um, what I realised about Alex and Taj's relationship, what looking through the clips, is she was a fucking bitch. Yes. <laughs> I discovered this today as well. I watched an episode today and <laughs> she's not the nicest person. She's not actually, actually no, she's not, is she? The There's whole a bit on, with Danny. Off. Yeah, Go on, Deb. There's some of the stuff that she uh she is with Danny is is a bit and yeah. the writers seem to put those two together quite a lot as well, which was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the whole on-off thing is um, what was like, what the hell? I'm sorry, Michael. You must be really fed up with me going on about breaking up with Taj. Yeah, it's a real killer. Must be off. Can't stay here all day. Oh, I can. I know you're being a good friend, Michael, but I have to face Taj sometime. You can't stay mad at me forever, right? No. Yes, I can. <laughs> I suppose the first thing you need is love. I suppose all you want, lady. I don't see any rings on your fingers. Alex is right. And love means putting other people before yourself sometimes. <laughs> you guys really go for that? It's like that only happened in chick flicks. <laughs> <laughs> Geez, you've got to get back on the scene. All work and no play makes Taj a dull dude. <laughs> Now this afternoon. afternoon. I've got an urgent appointment. Me too. We'll have to get together, compare diaries, and come up with another time we can both do. Definitely. I can't wait to get my hands in that slime. Nor me. Alex, why don't you just admit how you feel? <laughs> well, you could decide to date me again. <laughs> I'm sticking with option one. <laughs> that was um that was the first kiss. I think that was the first yeah. on screen kiss of Alex and Taj. Um, oh, teach, you just missed... I thought it was just an awkward hug. <laughs> no, I, I cut I cut the kiss out because I didn't want anybody to feel weird. Um, but there was that was the first that was the first. Did you say you didn't want anyone to feel weird? <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the actual edit. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, T, you've just missed um you missed baby Omar, Jaden. We love you. We miss you. No. Um, yeah. Big man now. He's, big, he's a big man. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think and he's got like nine kids. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be like his fifth wife. He's his fifth wife. I wouldn't like to come in. He's a granddad now, I reckon. <laughs> 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 Grandpa Jaden. <laughs> he's actually older than us. He was always older than us. He was 30. 20 years, like... 20 years ago. <laughs> it's like Gary Coleman, like, Gary just, Coleman, like yeah, Gary Coleman. <laughs> uh, That's one question I was going to ask Jay actually that Deb, Deb and TG might be able to answer because when you first started you you were still at school right so you had school at work how was that having school at work? That was, that was annoying bro Alright oh, yeah, okay um, yeah. Just yesterday mm -hmm. someone was like the other day they was like did you have a tutor or whatever and uh, I the, the early seasons, I was pretty much in every scene, kind of, until it, it became more of an ensemble later on. Yeah, yeah. I know early on it was like, I was in every other scene, at least, every other scene. Yeah. And uh, I think I didn't really have the problem of um, a tutor because I just didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were really naughty. <laughs> that does not surprise me. I was sitting there catching stress from school. And I'd just be like running down the corridor, hiding you or something. You should run away! Yeah, you should run away! You should like, hide behind me! 
No, you can see. I just, I just ran, ran away, away from school. <laughs> Actually, TJ, Straight I can't unruly. remember you being that well behaved either. <laughs> me. You were the instigator, Teach. He was he was the front man, but you were the instigator. Yeah, no, I'd be like, oh, you know what? We should dip at this class, really. Look. But he'd actually do it, like. And I'm like, no, like, I'm, I remember sitting in there being like, no, it's not fair, yeah. Look at them, like, yeah. Like, because Jamie was a little bit older than us. Yeah. And yeah. So, so I'm like, no, nah, Dev, like, that's not fair. And like, Vel's out there and Tish is out there. You know like, what? We so weren't good, up. though. It was our fault as well, because me, um, Jamie yeah. <laughs> and Tisha used to be at the glass, like, how much fun are we having <laughs> when they were working? <laughs> well, and Jamie used to, Jamie used to be a wind-up as well, like, he could get under my skin, that kid, yeah? And then I'm like, oh, bro, like, and then I'm thinking, no, and then I'm like, like starting all these conspiracy theories like I'm from David Jackson <laughs> with Devon, yeah? And Devon's actually living it, like, but this guy was so unruly. He was mad reckless. I used to look at him like, <laughs> Yeah, he's the front man, you were the instigator. Yeah, yeah something like that. The right. we, we, did have ones, we did have tutors and it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't that stressful. I think that, I think, luckily, we're all quite smart. I mean, maybe if we were as smart as we were, it probably would have been a problem. But <clears throat> I think yeah. we, we did whatever we needed to do and we came out of it well. But, um, mm, yeah, yeah, at that age, it's, it's tricky, like, having a, a tutor on set, especially when there was a weird gap between everyone. Like, me and Teach were the same age, and then Jaden was younger than us. Yeah. And then you had the, the next set uh, group was, like, Val, Jamie, and yourselves. You were, you were older, but... We didn't see it like that. Like me and Tj, yeah. I think we always saw ourselves on a level with with you guys. You were yeah. obviously so clearly older than us. Like yeah. a perfect <laughs> example of, I think we all crushed on Vel when we were little. Yeah, and I used to come in. I used to always try and chat up Vel every day and just be like, I in my brain, yeah, I was getting somewhere. Like she was into me. I was like, she's just trying to hide it, but really and truly. She wants all of this chocolate, right? Like, I was like 14. I was a grown yeah. ass woman. Do you know the worst one is you, Tanya? I, I can't remember how old you are. You were in your 20s. You're grown. You're grown. I was 20. I had my 21st birthday at Kaching. Yeah, you did. It's mad. Mad. You must have had these and little boys coming up to you like, hey, baby. Yeah, you, you were the little boys. You. Yeah, but I thought I had a chance. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> You see that you see me there, yeah, that yeah, you showed yeah. when, when I was hurting. That was said with, with spirit and chest, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, I was 14, like, my, my jaw was actually on the floor, like, just drug in on the set. They were just rolling, and it was already on the floor, like. <laughs> <laughs> no active required. He was there. There was no a clip. Yeah. Right, exactly there. <laughs> there was a... All right, moving on to... Exactly. Sha, 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 sha. Oh, God. And I suppose you expect me just to clean up after you? Uh, excuse me, miss, but I was talking to these guys. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm talking to them now, so butt out, you lanky Yankee. That's it. You made me do this. Jack, no. I'm giving you a zero on your play in this feedback card. Oh, oh, right, that's it. Oh, what is she doing to me? Skinny girl like her could never live. <gasps> oh no, she's done it. <laughs> right. Anyone else got a problem with the service in this place? No, no, fine. Great. No, no, great. Ah. Back for dessert, are ya? Oh no, I'll be good. I just wanted you to show me that incredible move you did out there. Uh, all right, but it'll cost ya. Jack. After all we talked about, you want to go back to wrestling again? Oh, yeah. You see, as I lay there on the street with Carisha stomping on my neck, I had a moment of clarity. Wrestling is my life. And I will always be grateful to you, Carisha, for dumping me in that skip. But it was in that skip that I truly found myself. Show me the money, Skip Roy. <laughs> what are you going to do this week? Mm. Nothing. Thought so. Well, I'll go into my life. I've got all the money, so I'm going to surprise myself. You're doing it. You're really going. Yep. <laughs> Great. Finally, I'll get the moon and the ladies to myself. <laughs> I need all the help you can get, girlfriend. Mm, so miss our chats. Aww. 
I'm dizzy by text if you want. <laughs> Danny, are you going to let them scare your career sha 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 like this? <laughs> Danny, it's me, career sha sha sha. Look, Carisha, we've been through this. I've moved on, and you've got to do the same. Now that is scary. Getting knocked back by Danny. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing that, that reminded me actually. You lot taking a piece. That, I must be the first Yorkshire person you guys ever met. <laughs> the first one I've ever seen my in my accent. life. Ever. 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 You said, I used to remember you saying, no. No. I was like, no. 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 And then no. you'd be like, no. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm so I apologize, but yeah, I'd never, apologize. Apologize. I'd never seen a, a Yorkshireman before. <laughs> so Vel, play, playing Carisha, sha 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 sha. Uh, yeah. We've spoke about what what it was like when when Tish left and stuff, but yeah, what was it like playing uh, Carisha? And being I loved an iconic it. Character. How well, the actual character? Um. What I see that's the amazing thing about Kachi. Uh, series one, um, I, I really did um, enjoy playing her, but like I said before, like how I got the part, I was literally like really new in it all. So I was just kind of um, fumbling my way through, trying to find the character, trying to, you know, figure out what I was doing. And so I had an amazing time the first series, but I really feel the character came into its own in the second series. And that's what's so amazing with the writers on Kaching is that I started noticing little things in the script that I had done as a character choice, but they had taken that on board. So there were yeah. certain things that I said in a certain way. So I, and I'm sure that the rest of you guys can vouch for this as well. Mm -hmm. I'll see script parts in the script where I'll be like, oh, hang on a minute, they got that from my idea from here and they're developing it, there, which is really good. Mm -hmm. um, so um, there was enough space to kind of play around with her, but also, um, yeah, she was a great character in the first place, but she, yeah, I just love I love the fact that she kind of came into her own because also the first series when it first started, obviously she was Missy's best friend, which is fine, but she really came into her own from the Absolutely. second series on and just literally just became this whole entity like within herself. And I just yeah. I just loved it. I just loved like you know up in up in my game every single year and just getting more confident and um, just having that room to play with her and just yeah. And the directors were amazing. It'd be great to go up to Des or to Ben or I to Andy. Des. He's like, not seen my message, but I did text him. Oh, did you? Oh, Des. <laughs> oh, he might. I don't know if he's. He's probably in Ireland. I think. I don't think he'd be in London now, would he? I think he's back in Ireland. But he's probably yeah. busy doing other stuff. But it would be really nice just to go to the directors and be like, "Can I try this? Or can I do that?" And blah blah. Yeah. It was just. Yeah. It was. I loved that character so much. Still to date, that is still definitely one of the fate my favorite characters that i've ever played she was wicked you and were i think um, i've got to say you were fantastic in that like a lot of, i've watched a lot of <clears throat> oh. sometimes i watch it back well what's available yeah and mm. we i think all of us naturally were making mad choices without even knowing it maybe for you guys it was slightly different because mm. you were slightly older but I just feel yeah. like we were making all the right. But choices. that was our that was all of our first job. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And, and and the maddest thing is how organically the choices and characters that we developed. Like to this day, I think that like those characters are some of the best characters. Like they are. Yeah. Boom, that is that. And I've never had a character mm, like Taj 100%. before. Like even now, when I look back mm. at my stuff, he's slightly camp, and it, it was like. What's weird is it was it was kind of a character choice. It's, it's so far away from myself, but like he was, it was so different. And TJ's character as well. Yeah, and they all grew as yeah. the seasons got on. We exactly. just felt more comfortable. I think growth wise, like TJ from when he started. Yeah. What, what Seymour became because because oh. I'm, well, I'm a little bit out of sync because obviously I, I wanted to mention that but I didn't want to interrupt. But Seymour as a character, the the growth. Yeah. Like at first he was he was chilled, but then it's as Tendai got more confident and we owned our characters. Nobody yeah. told us what to do. Yeah. And I think it created and Vel's character constantly just was funny all the time. Like <laughs> the comedy funny. just always, always, always. And then she was adding her own stuff. And Karisha yeah. as a character is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It is a hilarious character. I remember like whenever we would watch it, <laughs> when we'd get like a viewing or whatever, we would just be laughing 
<laughs> no. And we're, we were the target audience age as well. So the fact that we found it funny yeah. was yeah. knowing that you were just smacking. Yeah. You were smacking it. I think that yeah. was I love to think as, um, as like a, a young black lady, yeah, like yeah. having such a strong, you know, like now they say, oh, there's no strong female characters. This, on this is a point well, I was going to say. So before you start to just let me make this point. Yeah. Two, uh, before, I mean, I know I'm a lighty, so I'm not going to include me, but you and Tish, as, no, to be fair, like you and Tish, two black female yeah. leads yeah. banging, like <laughs> banging the shit out of comedy. Yeah. We don't have that now. And, sad, and, men. It's and, and men as well, like and, pumping up. Yeah. But, and, yeah. men as well, <laughs> and men as well, but but big it up for the women. Yeah, no, I'm saying, saying I don't even want to start with banging the shit out of comedy or banging the shit out of yeah. men as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know what it is? I don't want to get there too soon because I've got a feeling that this is what you're going to touch on. Um, yeah. um, but yeah. that show, Light Years Ahead. Right. It was, wasn't it? Light Years ahead of its time and Nothing. I think oh. now we had a strong black mum who was working for the NHS and she did she was there was the black kids they weren't doing drugs it wasn't about this Thank and it you. wasn't overly cultural Sweet. it Thank was exactly you. what people are asking for today yeah. we nail it diversity without being forced right and exactly. without it kind of yeah overly cultural or just overly another cultural. Like, Role just models. being funny for funny sake, just natural. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I don't think race ever was like... No. Was even a thing. It wasn't people like, oh, we're going to talk about people's race. It had nothing to do with that. It was just naturally diverse. It just happened. And, like, it's so ahead of its time. Like, yeah, when I yeah. think of it now, so Absolutely. ahead of its time in a lot That's of great. aspects of it. Yeah. Strong, Sorry, strong... Well said, boys. Yeah. Um, before... Uh, you, you, go, go on, Ten. I was going to say, actually, just um, going back, yeah, Funny enough, the guy who you kicked out and that scene, I remember bumping into him later on and, like, not getting into a nightclub, right? And <laughs> after, I told him that he was a security guard on the nightclub door, yeah? He's like, yo, oh you was in there, there. And I did a scene with you. I'm like, oh, yeah, sick. He's like, yeah, come through, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that same guy from that scene. I remember. Really? I was, I was fuming. Yeah. <laughs> That same guy. <laughs> I mean, do you know, that's another question. Do you lot still get recognised and just, how much does it annoy you or did it annoy you for a while? And do you still get recognised for stuff now? Are you mad? Every single day of my life. It's not a stop. It's, it's, it's beautiful now. Yeah, when you like, became men like 20 years old, I bet it was annoying. But now, looking back, right? No, I mean, it was scary when I was a kid because like, I'm on the bus and then like I've got like these big guys coming up to me. I'm like in the, you know, midst of East London, like I'm from the rough yeah. area. And then, like guys come up to me. So it was like a bit intimidating, like, you know, just me being normal. And then like, you know, um, and then like, but when I got like older, then it was like, you know, yeah, a bit more. I don't know, more like a confident or whatever. But you know, when you're a teen and you're, it's kind of hard. You're navigating life, and, and you know how it goes with teens nowadays, and everything's a bit, mm. you know. Um, yeah. But, um, I, as I got older, I think I enjoyed it. The more, the older I got. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was able to the enjoy it, you know, well. like being, more... being a bit fearful because just going to a random place, being a kid. And yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I remember going on holiday to Malta. And then, like, people just being like, oh, this, that, and the other, or, or getting chased through Stratford Shopping Centre at 15, like, by a group of girls. I'm like, what's going yeah. on here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. sounds funny now, funny. but as a child, that's not it's funny. Yeah. Overwhelming. It worked funny, like, and, and people funny. said, why are you wearing football trainers, like, on a, on a thing? I'm like, why are you even watching what I'm wearing? I'd, like, I remember one time I had Astro Turfs on the shopping centre, but I just come from banging football, and like, why are you wearing Astro Turfs? Aren't you on telly? I'm like, I've just what? been playing football, mate. Why are you bothered? But I'm like, oh. And it was things like that. Pressures like... Of them. I think now, uh-huh. though, the, the, the yeah. things that I hear that it gets to me every single time is like, when we used to watch stuff, I, I used to watch stuff and I used to have people that I used to look up to, like, I don't know, the Chuckle Brothers, Keenan and Kel, stuff like yeah. that. They're mm-hmm. your childhood. You never forget that. Yeah. We are that to people. Like, I've had mm. people from. Someone said that. Big men from jail. 
being like, yo, black, you. <laughs> the same man that we're PJ is probably scared of, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I've been walking, no, me, myself, I've been walking sometimes and the most shady hood man <laughs> I've ever seen in my life looked like he'll eat a baby, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and they were looking at you and be like, yo, black, you're my childhood, you know? Man watched you in pen or something. Yeah, that's yeah, something yeah, crazy yeah. like that. I've heard the craziest thing, but people like, we're immortalized in that, in that, that psyche yeah i am um, i i mean i were only in it for two seasons but i actually sold a flat because of kaching so i was living in uh when where was i is it i was in wembley at the time going through loads of crap that you know we don't want to talk mm. about now you know girl mm -hmm. um, and i needed to get rid of my flat really quickly and this couple come round, and they were like oh yeah 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 it's nice uh were you in kaching i'm like yes <laughs> darling and this is the bedroom and the flat went like that <laughs> Wow. I filmed this scene and the picture was actually in my bedroom. And <laughs> over here, it was actually part of yeah. bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big thing, wow. big thing. All right, so the next one, um, the next clip. Um, these ones. Oh, the I next bit, yeah, yeah. The next bit yeah. is Chilloween, our favourite. So I'm just going to show a little clip from Chilloween. <laughs> Where is everyone? The place is like deserted. Yeah, it's, it's kind of spooky, isn't it, Geese? Yeah, what's that terrible smell? It wasn't me, Geese. There's something not right in here. <laughs> well, that'll be the cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> well, the service is as bad as ever. How's about taking our order? <laughs> I don't know. Does the chill feel chillier to you guys? Mm. Yeah, there's definitely something in the air. I told you, Geese, it wasn't me. What's occurring with our order? I see Michael likes our new menu. <laughs> I'm getting a really bad feeling here. Yeah, and we haven't even eaten yet. <laughs> no, it's more like we're now in the land of the undead kind of thing. How do you figure that? Because Carisha and Jasmine are zombies! Ah, guys, the ah, chill definitely got chillier! Ah, Supernatural zombie powers tell them our every move. <laughs> it looks like we're lunch geezer. Oh. Stay cool, geezers. Zombies hate music. Use your root boy ringtones. Go, 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 come on, guys. Get out of here. Come on, get out of here. Go. <laughs> Watch out, Seymour. the snake the, look at his face the snake episode that you were talking about you that was like water for ducks back for you Val. you didn't give a shit i loved it they had two snakes actually yeah the snake. little one yeah he's like do you want the small one or the big one i was like the big one <laughs> but it was yeah i loved it i had so much fun it was so much fun i loved it next yeah, episode, no, that episode, that episode huh? you know what i was saying earlier about us making choices yeah, yeah. that scene that zombie scene yeah right there if you actually break that down, yeah, obviously accents yeah. aside, it even worked. Our messed up accents worked. And Absolutely, yeah. that's why I chose it. It's such a fucking it's genius episode. It's so if good. you sit down and you watch that, that just that section there, the choices that I made, TJ picked a character that is just insane. I went for like a weird <laughs> character. Like the character work in that scene alone, if you actually yes. sit down and you watch it, is actually next level. 
I'm yeah. sorry, I think it's brilliant. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a groundbreaking, like this was before walk, uh, Walking Dead and all that yeah, stuff. All this was that. Gra- like groundbreaking stuff. Like they don't have this stuff in kids' <laughs> programs no more. No. Even Joe, you remember? Joe's accent. Joe's accent there was the worst. I like to play the Chase Burgers. Chase Burgers. Chase Burgers. Do you remember we went to the, the, they had like a cash and carry next door and we all went to get to oh, like yeah, we shopping just next door and put zombie stuff on and they, everybody were like. <laughs> all right, so next <laughs> up is um when Missy returned for a little bit, end of season four, I think it is. So I'm just, she's not here sadly, but I'm going to. Um, oh, this yeah, was It sounds so exciting, all that star spotting and stuff. Well, when you've seen Orlando Bloom tossing his wet hair as he steps out of a pool with water cascading off him once, you've seen it a hundred times. I see. <laughs> oh, Taj, look, Missy's awake. Hi, Missy. <laughs> so, will you be giving up your job at the cafe when you go back? No way, I need the tips. <laughs> but what about all the acting work you've been getting? Uh, uh, when I said tips, I meant acting tips, you know, showbiz tips. <laughs> Missy, you're back. Did you get my messages? Is your phone broken? Uh, no, I just diverted all my calls because cause it was like, Matt Damon, stop calling me. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, Missy. Missy! <laughs> Try and talk to her. She'll call the bin police. <laughs> I don't understand. Why are you in LA? <laughs> what, what are you doing back here? Missy! Carisha! <laughs> you can't bail for me! Oh, she looked a bit rough. I mean, 20,000 tons of metal hanging in the air. Metal, air, air, metal. How does that work? But now I'm never going to see you again. <laughs> Hold on. You're in. How come? Nothing's worked out for me. I've been lying to you. I'm not a Hollywood hottie. I'm an L.A. loser. <gasps> At least you got there. I'm the loser. No, I am. Uh, stop arguing. We're all losers here. Even me. <laughs> all right, so that's it. Uh, she's so beautiful. I wish you could, she could have come, but that's I Tish. Um, and you must, like, it must have been nice for you all when she came back for those, for that little, I think it was just one ep, right? Yeah. 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 She was, um, with the, oh, what's the number of the 411? 411. Yeah. 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 Um, it's so weird. I was thinking about that group the other day. Like, I don't know what happened. They had some tunes. That's they were banging. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, don't know why it didn't work out. I can remember one of them, but I'll forget. What's that? <laughs> yeah, I remember one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but when they came out, they, they were, were like, really yeah, they were, they were going to be hot. They were wicked. Yeah. Just yeah. I can't remember. Is that, why she, is that why she went to do the 411, right? Yeah, she, she went to, yeah. to be, yeah, to be wow. part of the 411. She so I when she came back, she was kind of like a celebrity guest. Yes. Yes. Do you not remember? She was nope. big things. <laughs> big things. All right. So we're getting to the sad part now. And you know I'm emotional and I and I'm 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 very like I'm probably more emotional than than most. Um but this is the part where we remember Jude. Um oh. a couple of little nice bits here with Jude. Felipe <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. L Mrs. Mrs. L <laughs> It is time to do the dance of love. Let's salsa! Cha cha cha! <laughs> what is this? I enter the lottery without knowing. <laughs> Mum, this is for you, from me. Okay. You went to the lottery without me knowing. <laughs> no, but I did scoop the jackpot. Mum, this is how it all started. And that's when I realised I'd done it. I've made my million. Your million. <laughs> what? Taj is rude, boy. 
Seymour and Daniel to how to make a million pounds. It's really easy about me, is it? <laughs> we're rich. We can be happy now. But I thought we were happy. Yeah, but now all your problems are over. Aren't you pleased? I... I... Uh... Sorry, Taj, this is... I can't take the money. You've sprung this on me. It's too much to take in. I'm sorry. I did not see that coming. <laughs> well, how do I look? I've seen you look better. Tosh! <laughs> Missy wanted you to wear a necklace. <laughs> Omar, this is a wedding, not the MTV Awards. Oh, no, I never get to wear one. Uh, get guys, to... this is the last time it's going to be just us. Let's not argue. OK. I'll change. No. <laughs> Looks kind of cool. <laughs> Just take the shades off for the ceremony. <laughs> oh. the, the next bit I want to show, particularly because this is oh, probably oh. my most vivid memory of Kaching, and I will tell you why. I'll skip through it, but I'll, I'll tell you why um, once, once I've shown it. I promised myself I wasn't going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everyone. How wonderful to see so many family and friends here to celebrate the wedding of these two lovely people, Joe and... I'm sorry, Des. I can't do this. Mum! I spent so much on that dress! Oh. You mean I wore this for nothing? <laughs> What's wrong? Come on, everybody. Give us a moment, please. I just want to talk to Mum. Oh, right, come on, everybody. Oh, come, on. Come, on. Come, on. come on, guys. Gosh. I'm here for you guys. Well, can you be out there for us? Oh. I'm sorry, Des. I don't know what's wrong with me. I do. You've got the worst case of cold feet since Frost of the Snowman walked barefoot to the North Pole. It's not cold feet, Des. I do want to marry you. One day. Just not on a day when we've got all our family and friends out there dressed in their best clothes, clutching toasters. I love you. But there's not just two of us in this relationship. There's not just two of us in this toilet. <laughs> There is. <laughs> Look, I was talking to Taj earlier, and he likes you. He really does. He's just... Isn't ready. I don't think any of them are. Look, babe, I knew the moment I first saw you that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. And, you know, I'm more than willing to give the kids as much time as they need. We can carry on seeing each other as before. You betcha. We better get back. Seymour's probably gone into a walkie-talkie meltdown. Okay, so um, particularly the wedding. Dev, do you remember that this scene at all? Not literally. I was watching that going, I do not remember this. You don't remember how no, angry my... Judy was with us all that day. She was fucking yeah. phew. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. I can imagine. Because we were just having the funny, like, we were just pissing about and yeah. she was like <laughs> through yeah, the room. We had some quite emotional scenes to do and then we're just like, we just had fun to do. Being idiot. And we're, not doing, we're not helping That's... her acting. Do you know what? Um, the thing is, the, the thing about like, I was meant to speak to you guys about this in general. Like, the thing about Jude, I, I remember, like, obviously, I'll, I'll be completely honest, we didn't get, we didn't 100% see eye to eye. 
But do you know what? Like I was thinking about it when whatever happened happened. The reason that was is we were just my myself mainly. I was just a kid. Yes. And I was a naughty little shit. Yeah. And she was a grown, <laughs> strong black woman. Yeah. We didn't take any rubbish. Yeah. And wow. always, it wasn't that we didn't see eye to eye. It was that she was just so strong and she's taught me a lot. Like yeah. she was she didn't take any rubbish. She reacted in exactly the way that we would all react at as this age. Team. At this age. It's so like I sit back and I think about it and I think like she was an amazing woman. She was an amazing actress. And I just respect her so much because of it. Mm-hmm. And in, in general, and my, I'm upset I didn't yeah. get to see, to see her, to be honest, and have that conversation where we could have had that moment. Because I think at her age, she would have understood it at the same time. Yeah. And I think mm-hmm. I, I'm upset I didn't get that chance to have a conversation with Jude and, and tell her how much I appreciate her and what she did for, mm-hmm. for me and, and us in general. Like She spoke to, to us with respect and she taught she actually taught me a lot as well. So, yeah. yeah. yeah got you, definitely. Sorry, go on. You were telling a story. No, that was it. That was just, that was just the, just the memory of Jude. And you've, you've said everything more elo- eloquently that, than I could ever. There me and Belle talk about this all the time. There was uh, something that uh, Jamie <laughs> reminded me of because I still, funnily enough, very good friends with um, Jamie. He played Danny Spooner. Um, we what? I've not seen this boy today. Oh, you know what? Bro. We want to do a meet up. Bell speaks, Bell speaks to everyone. Or bump into this boy. <laughs> I've seen everyone. I've even seen Joe Fox. I saw Joe Fox, Dan Brick Lane. I haven't seen Joe in years. Oh, you don't want to see Joe. He's being moved with you. He's with you. Rocky and stuff like that. Because Joe Fox is a singer and he's on ASAP Rocky's song. Joe it, owes me money. Yeah. Bill! Joe <laughs> owes me bare money. Do you know how you silly I was as a dude? Do you know how much bed? money I gave that boy? To <laughs> was, the, I don't know if you lot know that, but like, as soon as I heard the tune with ASAP Rocky, yeah, I messaged <laughs> Joe and I was like, bro, you, you certainly kind of owe me money. <laughs> kind of laughing about him, yeah? And he blanked me. And to this day, I'm like, do you know what? Joe, you owe me money, bro. It doesn't you matter. Money, you owe me money, bro. A lot of money. I don't know why I gave it away as a kid. Stupid, stupid thing to do. I seen, I seen, I seen Danny Young. I seen, I seen everyone except for um, Jamie. Jamie's proper gone off the radar. He's not, you know, he, he's cool. Yeah, he's he's really well. Yeah. He's good. But the, this, this whole thing, the acting, the, the industry, he's done with. That doesn't surprise. Like Jamie was a deep. Jamie is a deep, deep guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. If it, if think... it wasn't making him happy, I'm glad. That yeah, he, he he's very happy now. He's good. Definitely, you know I've because I I was in Nora, I was in I see Nora the other day. She walked past. She was like oh, one of our favorite makeup artists. Just she was a head makeup and, artist. Yeah, head makeup artist or one of my favorite. And then she was asking after Jamie as well. Oh, they were really um, close. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So no, it'd be good to well, send him my hellos anyhow. Um, yeah. And I see I see Devon. I chat to him. I did a little. Bit. <laughs> Funny enough, I'm seeing him now. <laughs> and right now on the, on the, on the thing. <laughs> and we went to we went to LA, right? Bill? I'm going again in November as long as this thing's over. So come if you come in. Where are you going um, in November? LA. I'm yeah. going back, girl. Come are on, you going back? Go. Yeah. Can't be in. So yeah, we went we went, we went a couple of years. I was ago. talking to Devin. When you go about in? Months November. Ago. Ho- I'm, I'm November. I'll come with you hundred percent. And Amazing. I'll and like Carisha, I'll get on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, I was meant, I was meant to go. I was meant to um go there uh, in June for a, f- a few years. Um, yeah. years. Last June or this June? This June. Because you were there last year, right? Yeah, I was there last year. I was living there for three months. Yeah. Um and and in Vegas as well, and then I meant to go again this um this year for a couple of years, but then yeah, it kind of just changed. So I'm gonna go next year. Same time next yeah. year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with the whole Miss Rona business. Um, I'm going to yeah. get on to that, actually. Um, I'll get on to that at the end. Remind me, remind me to ask about um, BAFTA, Black Actors Fuck Off to America, um, yeah, after yeah. this. But I need to show this scene because this is pretty much the only scene where we see Dev or Taj um, on his own, with his own story. Well, mum and him storyline, do you know what I mean? It's not yeah. living vicariously through the rest of us. I have got to get in shape. I've just been lapped by some speed walking pensioners. <laughs> How do you know I'd be here? <sighs> On the bench where Dad proposed. 
the bench where you've made every big decision in your life. Lucky guess. We have got to go. The doves of love are starting to get agitated. I never had any stuff when I married your dad. Couldn't have loved him any more, though. Taj, you said you were okay about this wedding. I was. I am. It's just all come so soon. You know I'd never do anything to make you unhappy. I'm not unhappy. I just really miss Dad sometimes. I feel with this wedding, we're forgetting all about him. I'll never, ever forget your dad. I know. I also know that you and Des are good together. Look, I freaked out before, but I'm cool now. You're a good kid, Taj. <laughs> I just really miss Dad. I miss having him to talk to. You can always talk to me, you know that. My kids are the most important people in my life. We're gonna have to take a rain check on this mother-son time. Alex will never forgive me if I don't get you back. <laughs> Can I just say? You, yeah, despite, please. Um, just going, I want to backtrack just a tiny bit, if that's all right. Um, what you need to appreciate with Judy, gosh, I've just got to there. I know, so I know. I'm just seeing her and hearing her voice and that, so I'm going to have to ooh, hold it together. But um, can you imagine what it's like being on set? And like 95% <laughs> of the time, you're the only adult. When um Joe Martin came in to do that episode, um Joe Martin's an amazing actress. I had some clips of Joe, but for yeah. time I cut them out. Oh shame! But she was she was amazing. She played my mum. I remember Judy that week. She literally just had the best time because it must have been so nice so to have another yeah. adult rather than having to deal with us kids. Like she did love us, but it must have been so difficult. Yeah, just with Annoying. kids all yeah. the time and. Yeah. Even though you've had your differences, Deb, do you know what? On camera, you two together, like, I haven't seen that in a long time, but you two together, absolute magic. You'd never yeah. know all the stuff that was going on. I chose that scene because... see stuff like that, it's just... Yeah. Beautiful. Because of that, like, the connection there, um, it's such a beautiful scene between, like, that, again, that's probably one of Taj's only moments where he gets to be himself rather than living through his friends. Yeah. And yeah. just to point out, Dev, like, not to blow your trumpet too much, but as a fucking child, that scene is absolutely Gold. unbelievable. Gold. Stuff that you guys were, were acting and portraying and, and, and kind of relaying to an audience at that age is un, like, it, that doesn't happen anymore. You know, deal, dealing with the no. death of a parent and, and that kind of, you, like, you should be really proud of your work. Very proud. Yeah, phenomenal. How old were you then? Like, what, 50, 16? 16, 16, I think. Oh, about 16 at that point. Yeah, 16. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's crazy. I think, I think that uh, as a whole ensemble, I think that everyone did a, a, a really good job. Like I said, whenever I get a chance, because there's not a lot actually online. and the, I think we got given them DVDs a long time ago. Mm. And the only one that I have, it seems to be the only one that's available online, is like season yeah. <laughs> four, some of the episodes on season four, and then all my other ones were scratched. But like, just yeah. everyone shone in their own way. I think yeah. ja Jamie, Jamie, it's a shame, he he was a comedy goal. Like so Jamie was comedy Absolutely. Goal. TJ and um, you, you three together, TJ. actually. Wicked. TJ people don't realize like you know people a lot of people say bad bad things about kaching or you know like oh it's cheesy this that the other but when mm. you go back and look at it as an adult it was actually top notch fucking writing top notch acting mm. and and stuff that we do not see yeah. this day and age like the diversity oh, yeah. of, of 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 creed color gender cast like it's not it's not been replicated since i think it's yeah and I think going on what you said about it being cheesy and this that, and the other, I think I think that um, there has to be something indicated for everybody. Do you know, like okay. with um, all different genres, yeah. Mm. So, like for it, saying it, art it being a mainly black cast, like there's a lot of like a black television, which I think are watching this program, which is by um, Kenya Bar Kenya Barris, yes, who wrote yes. uh, Black Hole and and all those kind of mixed dishes and so on and so forth, and he's got a series out, and he has a one with um, Tyler Perry. And Tyler Perry says, like they say to him, why did you make 
why do you make these things that are just so, so overtly black or they're very trashy mm. or whatever, whatever. But there has to be something that caters for everybody. Exactly. Like, there doesn't have to be something that, you know, there's something like in all genres, you know, like, um, like, you know, you can have your hood thing, you can have, like, let, let's put it this way, you've got, you've got your soaps, right? But not yeah. everything is going to be, like, not everything is going to be Downton Abbey, not everything's going to be, then you've got the Emmerdale, you've got the Hollyoaks and this, that, and other. that's trashy TV, yeah? But mm. then, You've got like um, I don't know, like your, your drama, your TV dramas, and yeah. this, that, and the other. Um, like your White Chapels and your whatever, whatever. And then there's something for everyone. So there needs to be some. They, it's okay to have that. Not everything has to speak volumes. It has to speak to every person. There's no program that can please every person. No, like, you've exactly. Got Black-ish, you've got your Blackish comedy program, and then you've got your um, Tyler Perry comedy program. Yeah. So it's like they cater for two different audiences. Yeah. 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 And and then that's what you need to have that diversity. Yeah. And not just think, that, the comedy, like comedy acting, I, I learned on Kaching. Season three, yeah. up until Des got there, I was the fucking pits. <laughs> I was terrible, <laughs> right? I could act, but I wasn't good at comedy. I learned on the job. Um, I mean, but Judy, but comedy actors, well. you guys hit every fucking beat. And comedy acting, as a child, as an adult, it's not easy. As a child, you lot blew that out of the park, man. Oh. I, th- I think a thing about Kaching that I, I don't think a lot of people realised and I think where it, it's why it was so ahead of its time was the, the lady that created it I'm sure she created it for her son and Taj was based on her son he was he was of mixed heritage and I think I, re- I remember having a conversation with her and she wanted something that her son could grow up and watch then I think um, um, a lot of mm. established black successful black people took the helm so we had Paulette Randall who, yeah. uh, if you Google Paulette. Um, Paulette, Paulette, I, I saw her recently and got a number, but I need to get in contact with her. But she is amazing in the business. There was a lot of, well, I don't think we realised it was a, you know, a black show, but I don't think it was. I think the cast was so diverse. And the get, I think what we need to realise is the guests, some of the guests oh, that were involved yeah. in that oh, show. Come on, how did that happen? Did you make the pixel? Nah. How did that happen? Pork pie from the Desmonds. We had Ainsley Harriet. Oh, God. Gina Yashiray. Gina Yashiray. Like, I what? Saw, I saw her in LA and I was talking to her about it. Like, it was I so love nice. her. Yeah, um, I was going to message her about this. Randy, because, yeah. Because Randall, um, she directed, for those who don't know, she directed the... Um, the Olympics opening ceremony. Yeah. You know, that shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Did she? Danny I didn't even know. Yeah. Yeah. Directed with Danny Boyle, the opening ceremony. Yeah. Like, she's she's a big And she gave me so many dogs after that as well. She's Come been like, giving me dogs. Like, I got uh, one of the players I did in 2018 was because of her. Yeah, she's yeah. amazing. She's amazing. She taught, I wouldn't have still been in Kaching if it wasn't for Paulette. I think yeah. Paulette went to the back for me on several occasions. What, what, what was amazing with, with having somebody like Paulette she for some reason she got me yeah. so yeah. if there was ever any problems or anything like that they put me in front of paulette and she would break it down for me in a way that i could understand yeah. and i think it's good to have people in the industry that take time with young with young actors and whatever because at, mm-hmm. at the end of the day we are, we are kids yeah and yeah. you know you're gonna act like a kid and even i've grown up a lot i i know i was a nightmare same time i was just a normal kid I don't yeah but I you were professional idea. yeah th- i think that's th- this is what you i said to my, I was talking to my friend about this i think <laughs> if the work was lacking i would have been gone right but, like i think i just did i delivered so i don't think there's much you could yeah, <laughs> could really yeah you were a little I, shit but I you're regrets. professional <laughs> i remember i remember actually i remember getting um i um, dragged into the um what's it called the uh what's it called um Office. The office. You can get the second season. Um, Candice, Candida, and um, <laughs> I think we got to go to the office. Me, Devin, and I. I don't know if Jamie got brought in as well, but you know, I know me and Devin definitely got brought in, yeah. <laughs> and then she was like, "Oh, you're never gonna have it this good again, yeah." Right? Yeah. And then you, you were like, to... "Yeah, we will." <laughs> yeah. What? Like, we were getting chauffeured to work. <laughs> we're getting, and we're getting, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting food. food, and we were taking drinks that were making. Dave, yeah. Dave's cooking. Dave's cooking. Yeah. Can you remember when he shit himself though when Ainsley Harriet came for lunch and he was like, what? <laughs> I, I just, is he coming for lunch? And we're like, yeah. <laughs> so shook. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I swear he came in and started cooking at three in the morning. <laughs> Thank you so everything. What did he make that day? I want to know what he made. That you day. you saw Dave again, didn't you, Tej? You were filming yeah. something there again after yeah. Kaching. You went back there. Yeah, I filmed. I filmed a, um. I filmed a, a Disney pilot. I filmed like a a, a Disney comedy pilot. Um, there. Um, because they were making do before they had the online platform they have now. They had another one. Um. Which is meant to be more internet based um, rather than anyhow um but then they just had a whole revamp and change around so yes yeah, so i was filming at, uh, i was filming there and i got to see him again so that oh, was yeah. that was kind of funny but it was it wasn't like i said and and it, and it reminded me of that moment where when candy um told us that we're having that good good like we got we were kids so we got pampered we got pillows when we needed it i asked for a coca cola get bought for me i get dropped to work i get picked up from work Mm. And they did have a pit, they'll make it warm before I got in it. And then she was like, We uh, we were treated well, like as an adult, and I've been on many sets and big productions as well. Yeah, but obviously, I'm gonna get a pillow when I want it, and my car warmed up. <laughs> 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 I didn't get no pillow. What pillow is this? Oh, <laughs> you were stars, you were stars, you were stars. <laughs> and, all right, so I'm just that... sorry, go on, go on. Uh, I'm just wrapping up now. I'm wrapping up um, the, the the show part, but I just wanted to show these last two clips um, just to warm your hearts a little bit, just a tiny little bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, we've had good times. And bad times. And even times, times when, sometimes, times tables? <laughs> the touch, the genius is gone. I've been thinking so much, I've bent my brain. Don't worry, bruv. We know what you're trying to say. <laughs> we made it in the end. Yes! Cur so what do you think of my tracking system now? Genius. The dream team came through again for Rude Boy. Cut. I know it, bro. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I was an idiot. I can't do it all by myself. Root Boy needs Danny and Seymour. We know. Thanks for everything, guys. Now, can we? Cut. <laughs> and just to just to finalise, thank you so much for agreeing to do this. Um, it really yeah. means a lot. It's been amazing seeing you all and it's sad that it's been so long and it's taken covid for us to do this hopefully mm. we'll do it in person bell i know we see each other all the time but you guys <laughs> like I, I hope we do this again and i just want to end with this this final little little bit i really appreciate you not blabbing it means a lot to me well like you said we're family um and i'll end with that because even though it's been years and you know i'm emotional and i'm a silly cow but we are family and we always will be family um so it's thank you right. very much if you've got any last things you want to say now is the time um oh, just i love you more than anything and honestly it's just Kaching's always going to be very close to my heart but this is the first time in a long time i've actually like sat and seen things and it was lovely seeing Judy and it's just brought back so many memories. I've actually literally just pulled out all these photographs. Oh, <laughs> like, oh my God. Photographs and I'm actually going to go through them all later today. There's one of Danny there and Tisha and I'm oh, just look at Tish. one of Jamie oh. there. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, we used to smoke back then. Jesus Me and Devon. It's just bringing back these oh. memories. Um, yeah, I'd love to go back if I could you know yeah, if there was a too. time machine i'd love to go back even just for a week yeah, and just too. do it again yeah. um, what i'm grateful for is that th those are memories that whatever happens in life no one can ever take those away from me no one no matter what they do can never take those away from me and um i just want to without sounding like a bloody miss world contestant or whatever but i just want to thank you guys for just um i didn't go through a very easy time sometimes with Kaching personally like there's stuff that was going on in my personal life and i can guarantee you that you lot did a lot more for me than you'll ever know you made me a better actress oh. a better person and you carried me through some really dark crappy shitty times and um, wow. i'm sure you kind of know about when i used to come into to work upset sometimes so i just thank you for that and i just thank you you literally are family to me um we should see each other more often but you are literally mm. always here, swear to God.
Yeah, so oh, the and the fans oh. as well. Hey. Like it's mental that people are still saying good yeah. Jesus, we shall shut down the shit. What the hell? No, it's, it's crazy. It's, so the fans, so Ching fans smash it. They yeah. do. I mean, like the people, local boys around my area, they still call me Kaching. <laughs> like, like <laughs> name. Like, hey, Kaching, what are you saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> I do have a name. Um, so the band are like beautiful. Um, I want to say to you guys, you are absolutely amazing. You have been like a part of one of like the best times of my absolute life. Like. Um, it changed me as a person. Like I think doing a kaching, being where I'm from, where I place I grew up, um, commend, like commend my mum and my dad for obviously once the opportunity was faced my way, like them able to let me um, grab hold of it by the by the horns, grab hold by the horns yeah. to be able to um, grasp this opportunity. It's just a part of my life that will that will stay dear to my heart. Um, and I thank you all for being such a great part of it. And okay. and made me, it became my career and that I wanted to do and it just like steamballed exactly. from there. Really. So thank you. Well said, Bev. Uh, for me, I just want. I, I just think that it's one of the, it will remain one of the best jobs I've ever done. Um, I like being able to look back at it and remember that I saw stuff there. Thank you for that. That I just yeah. had completely forgotten about. <laughs> uh, I wanted to say. I want to send my love to Judy, yeah. um, also the Kaching fans. Big up, big up all of you. And yeah, I just think like, it's it's obviously a time in our lives that we'll never forget. I mean, we don't we don't all speak to each other all the time, but we've all stayed in contact, which is good. And I reckon a big like a big get together would be fantastic. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just want to say, yeah, Kaching was just miles ahead of its time in, in its it in what it was the message that it was given. As well, there was no one. It was just a young black boy. He was an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day. And mm-hmm. I think it was a very good message. Um, mm. So if it's not too dated, get your kids watching it. Mm-hmm.